keys for you. Oh. Thank 
Yeah, I can see a You've seen the big up? Get them? Yeah. Oh, that green line. Get both of them? Huh? Get them both? Was that no. Still getting used. She wasn't here for the trial, remember? There's Barbara. Who was in here. Yeah, I guess he didn't want to. 
My name is Malik Shabazz. I'm attorney for victim Michael Jenkins and Mr. Uh, Eddie Parker. And I want to read their words. I'm going to read their impact statements to you. Statement of Michael Jenkins. Your Honor, please take these crimes by the goon squad seriously. Your Honor, it is true that me and Eddie in this event were called racist names. We were called nigger. We were called monkey. We were called boy. And we were accused of dating white women. The fact that these are police officers who terrorized more of a nightmare for me. After Hunter Elwood shot me, they left me to die bleeding on the floor, and they tried to set me up to be in prison. Your Honor. They killed me. I just didn't die. January 24th, Your Honor, was the worst day of my life. I was brutally beaten and nearly killed by the Rankin County Sheriff's Department, also known as the Goon Squad. I never would have thought a night of hanging out with friends would nearly cost me my life. They beat, kicked, tased, insulted, waterboarded, and humiliated me over and over again. That will forever be engraved in my mind and my heart. I am hurt. I'm broken. I'm ashamed and embarrassed by the entire situation. They tried to take my manhood from me. They did some unimaginable things to me and the effects of it will last on my life forever. All the things I used to enjoy doing in my life have been affected. I am a musician and a singer, and now because of a gunshot wound that shattered my jaw, I can no longer do what I love to do in that sing. I play the drums for my church. And because I was shot in the face, it affected my vision so I can no longer play. My timing, my train of thought, my judgment has been so clouded since I was shot. Waking up at night covered in sweat because of the nightmares of my attack. Loud noises, police lights, sirens all give me extreme fear and anxiety. I am broken inside, and I don't ever think I'll be the person I was. I try every day to do some of the simple things I used to enjoy doing, but I can't, all because the real goons took it upon themselves to shoot me. I could be dead and gone, but the God I serve has other plans. I am currently undergoing therapy from my psychologist in order to heal what happened to me. I want all of them to remain behind bars and to be off the streets, and I'm praying for the maximum sentence for the goon squad. Statement on behalf of Mr. Michael Jenkins, your honor. This next statement here is from Mr. Eddie Parker, who's with us today. He's in the courtroom. We have a seat seated there. And Mr. Eddie Parker says, Your Honor, as follows. The very bad actions of the Rankin County Goon Squad officers severely impacted me and has left a scar on me that will last forever. I never knew the ones that were sworn to protect and serve would be the ones I need protection from. I don't know if I'll ever be able to sleep again at night. I am in constant fear someone will break into my home and terrorize me again. 
I fear I will be attacked or even killed by police in Rankin. The humiliation and embarrassment from the sexual assault is too great for me to talk about. Therefore, I am in therapy now and for the future. My family is also affected by this. They worry more about my safety. My financial situation has taken a crucial hit also. I am terrified of the public, Judge. My mind is all messed up and my emotions are sometimes all over the map. What happens should have never happened. Damien Cameron and a long list of other victims would agree, but they can't because they have been killed by the goon squad. My life was not perfect, but it was mine. I doubt if I'll ever experience it again. I wish I didn't have to experience the memory of this torture session, but I can't do that either. I can't erase my memories, but I will struggle to live on. They should be given what they gave me and Michael Jenkins, which was no mercy, and I pray for the maximum sentence. That is the victim's impact statement on behalf of victim Eddie Parker. And I thank you, Your Honor, for allowing me to read these words. Yes, sir, Your Honor. Any, yes, Your Honor. any additions or corrections on it? Not from the state, Your Honor. Not on behalf of Mr. McAlpin, Your Honor. state and speaking with Mr. McAlpin, um, he would respectfully ask the court um, to honor the original plea. He understands that the court is not accepting it, but I wanted to make that uh, statement on his behalf, but he understands that the court has final say as he did 
in this plea for the court previously. Is that correct, Mr. McGowan? Yes, sir. All right, anything else? No, sir. <laughs> All right, as to count one, Henry prosecution in the first degree, it will be ordered this court to serve 15 years in custody of Mississippi Department of Corrections. Specific conditions will include a victim's fund fee of $1,000, fine of $5,000. Count two, conspiracy to commit Henry prosecution in the first degree, it will be ordered this court to serve five years in custody of Mississippi Department of Corrections. Specific conditions will include the payment of court costs and expenses. $431.50 for a total of $6,431.50. All be paid within two years after release from custody. You also will be required to permanently surrender your law enforcement certificate and execute the attached affidavit we will have for you for surrendering your transmissions to the Board of Law Enforcement Officer Standards and Training. Counts one and two are run concurrent. Both counts are run concurrent to any federal time also. Anything else? No, sir, Your Honor. All right. May I be excused, Your Honor? Yes. All right, 33-524, State v. Jeffrey Middleton. Yes, 
August the 14th of 2023, you pled guilty to count one of aggravated assault, guilty to count two of burglary, and guilty to count three of conspiracy to commit hindering the prosecution in the first degree. Do you recall that? Yes, Your Honor. All right, that guilty plea was accepted and entered by the court. The pre sentence investigation was ordered. We received that here today for sentencing. Do you understand that? Yes, Your Honor. Both counsel received a copy of that pre sentence investigation. Is that correct? We did, Your Honor. That's correct, Your Honor. Were there any additions or corrections on it? No, Your Honor. Okay. All right, Mr. Elwood, at the time of your plea, I told you in that plea that I was not bound by any plea bargain agreement to impose the maximum sentence. Do you recall that? Yes, Your Honor. Do you also recall that you did agree to that under oath? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Do you understand that today I'm rejecting that initial plea offer, but it's my understanding that there has been an additional amended plea offer that I believe you've seen. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. All right. All right, anything from the state or the defense before I go on sentencing? Nothing from the state, Your Honor. Not from the defendant, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Elwood, as to ag assault, count one of the order of this court to serve 20 years in custody of the Mississippi Department of Corrections. Specific conditions include a crime victim's fund payment of $1,000, fine of $5,000, and court costs as well. There will be court costs and assessment for everything. Count two, burglary of the order of this court to serve 20 years in custody of the Mississippi Department of Corrections. And count three, conspiracy to commit hindering the prosecution of the first degree of the order of this court to serve five years in custody of the Mississippi Department of Corrections. Specific conditions will include the payment of court costs and expenses. $431.50. $431.50 for a total of $6,000. $431.50 all be paid within two years after release from custody. You will also be required to permanently surrender your law enforcement certificate and execute the affidavit of surrender of transmissions to the Board of Law Enforcement and Officer Standard and Training. Do you understand that? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Counts one, two, and three will run concurrent, run concurrent to the federal time also. Do you understand that? Yes, Your Honor. Do you have any questions? No, Your Honor. All right. Thank you, Your Honor. Yes, sir. All right. 33-527, State v. Daniel Opdyke. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Opdyke, you may remain standing. If you saw Mr. Abrams' testimony, you're about to give away the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth after you talk. Yes, Your Honor. All right. You're Daniel Opdyke. Is that correct? Yes. All right. Mr. Opdyke, you understand you're on oath. You answered these four answers until you're perjured. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. All right. On August the 14th of 2023, you pled guilty to count one, hindering prosecution in the first degree, and count two, conspiracy to commit hindering prosecution in the first degree. Do you recall that? Yes, Your Honor. That guilty plea was accepted and entered by the court. The pre-sentence investigation report was ordered. I've received it. We're here today for sentencing. Do you understand that? Yes, Your Honor. All right. At the time of that plea that you made here, I told you at that guilty plea that I was not bound by any plea bargain group to impose the maximum sentence. Do you recall that? Yes, Your Honor. You said under oath that you did understand that. Is that correct? Yes, sir. All right. Do you also understand that today I'm rejecting that plea? It's my understanding that attorneys have met and have an additional plea offer. Do you understand that? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Anything from the state or the defense before I go into sentencing? Nothing from the state, Your Honor. Nothing from the defense, Your Honor. All right. Thank you. All right. Mr. Opdyke, is count number one, hindering prosecution in the first degree? It will be the order of this court to serve 15 years in custody of the Mississippi Department of Corrections. Specific conditions will include payment of a crime victim's fund of $1,000, fine of $5,000, and court costs and assessments. $431.50. 
And as to count two, conspiracy to commit hindering prosecution in the first degree, as or this court served five years in the custody of the Mississippi Department of Corrections, specific conditions will include the payment of court costs and expenses, which includes that 43150. Is that correct? Yes, sir. For a total of six thousand four hundred thirty-one dollars and fifty cents, I'll be paid within two years after release from custody. You'll also be required to surrender permanently surrender your law enforcement certificate and execute the affidavit of surrender for the transmission to the board of law enforcement and officer standards and training. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Do you have any questions? No, sir. Anything else from the state office? Your Honor, you, you didn't mention it, but the two sentences, the fifteen yes, years and five, right? Thank you, Mr. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Counsel one and two run concurrent. They also run concurrent to the federal time. Anything else? No, sir. Thank you. That's the sole reason that I ask. Is there anything else? Yes. I appreciate you doing that. All right, thirty three five twenty eight state versus Joshua Hartfield.